Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail Fly, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Let's let's make fun of Canada for a moment, shall we? <laughs> Canada's military is a joke. Seriously, it's an absolute joke. And I'm not referring to the men and the women that make up the Canadian forces. I'm speaking as a, as a whole. The Canadian Army, the the Canadian Air Force, the was that Air Command, Sea Command, Land Command? Is, I, I think that's what we call them. It's woke and it's shit, and everyone hates it. And as a part of this woke shit, everybody hates it. Canada's new military logo sparks fury over very suggestive design. This country's broken, man. I, I gotta tell you, like it's not just our military, but our government in general. Trudeau is uh, he's. Uh, ruined this he's ruined the place he's ruined the place and now and now he's trying to like blame stephen harper our previous prime minister that we had nine years ago on things is like trudeau you've been in, you've been around for a decade all the problems are because of you unbelievable all of this is just crazy so before we get into this any further do like subscribe share help me grow this channel all of that stuff also I have started a locals community where I'll be doing um, like exclusive stuff, uh, live streams and posts, and uh, maybe make it a little bit more personal about about me. I mean, the, the the same content that you still know and love and all that, but you know, add a, add a little bit, you know, more about me in there. Um, and for those of you. Who watch on Rumble? God bless you. Um, this little, this little red button, this little join button, right here, right there. That's how you get to it from Rumble. But third railfi dot locals dot com. Now let's carry on here. A new Canadian Army logo, wild, uh, w widely mocked online as resembling a bear, fucking a moose. A bear fucking a moose is, is what we've done. Are the the best and the brightest minds in the military and marketing and and uh, I don't know some retard with Photoshop. They've they've come together and and they've decided that uh, the logo for the army is going to be a bear fucking a moose. Ah, oh, I caramba. All right, yeah, resembling a bear having sex with a moose. It was greenlit by top military brass without a single objection. At no at no point did anybody go, hey, this is stupid. I knew it was stupid. I saw it. I'm like, well, that's shit. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. I didn't see the bear banging the moose until I read this article about a bear banging a moose. I'm like, oh, I, I can see it. Oh, right. But yeah. Uh, according to new new leaked documents, so I mean this happened in like March and May, right? Like beginning of the year, but you know it's coming out now that uh, everyone was fine with it. The military was like, "Yeah, this is great. We love it. Best thing ever." So approved in March 2024 and unveiled in May, the pixelated maple leaf design ignited a firestorm of criticism. National Defense claims the logo is a direct representation of the Army's new camouflage pattern. So? Who gives a shit? This is a fucking logo that's going to be on paper. Who gives a fuck if it's made from the, the camouflage that you clothe the, the uh, soldiers in? It is composed of brown pixels arranged to form a maple leaf taken directly from the pattern itself. Who gives a shit? You made it look stupid. We're not a serious country. Nothing we do in this godforsaken country is fucking serious. You know, in this country right now, I think it was, it was RBC Bank or something like that, is pushing a Pride 365 campaign. Pride 365. I mean, we already have Pride Month, and they're pushing for Pride Season. Now, Pride 365. We're not a serious country at all. Our military has no ammunition. Trudeau gave it all to the Ukraine. All of it. At last, at last count, it was three days of ammo. Three days. You want to conquer Canada? 
come with four days of ammo. We're not a serious nation. Social media erupted with ridicule, as it should have, comparing the logo to everything from a pile of shit to Minecraft graphics. Online critics lambasted the new army logo with some vehemently protesting what they believed to be a replacement for the official emblem. So here, here we have it. The official emblem is this. It's the, uh, it's the three maple leaves that are connected with the two swords and the crown. That's a very classy, that's a nice, that's a, that's, that's a nice logo, right? A nice emblem. That's it's classy. It's a classy broad. This piece of shit down here, they say, well, it's a bear fucking um, um, a moose. Well, you can see it. This, this splotch of, of, uh, of, of brown is the bear. And this is his long bear dick right there, his long bear cock. And this is a little, a little moose. Because if you've ever seen a moose, a moose is like the size of a house. This is just a baby moose. And his little moose antlers. But somehow this is supposed to be a maple leaf. They say, oh yeah, this is a maple leaf. It doesn't look like a maple leaf. There's a, there's a maple leaf above it. No maple leaf in it at all. Like, who designed this? Due to the public backlash, the Canadian Armed Forces did apologize for the confusion. However, they still defended the logo and claimed it was a supplementary design and not a replacement for the official emblem. So why do it if it's just a backup, a supplementary, uh, like an alternative jersey? Like, why bother? You've spent probably millions upon millions of dollars making it. Why do it then? The new logo was greenlit by Deputy Army Commander. On March 21st, 2024, it underwent further review at a public affairs town hall before receiving final approval. No concerns were raised about the design at any stage of the process. It sailed through every fucking level of government. And everyone's like, no, that looks good. That looks fine. It's shit. The public looked at it and they're like, immediately, no, that's, that's shit. However, internal documents stipulated strict, strict usage uh, guidelines inexplicably forbidding the logo from being flipped horizontally or vertically. Why, isn't it? It's just pixels, like you said. Why does it have to be, you can't flip it or flop it. It has to be exact. It has to be the bear fucking the moose. Or it just doesn't make sense. Admits the uproar questions swirled about the logo's origin and approval, with some demanding the responsible parties be fired. While opposition politicians accused the liberal government of imposing the design, leaked documents reveal it was an in-house army project. Despite the controversy, the Canadian Armed Forces confirmed the logo's continued use in various internal and external applications. The logo was a component of a broader army rebranding effort aimed at establishing and maintaining credibility. So that's that's what the the army the Canadian military wants to do. They want to rebrand. I don't know because they want to be serious. They want to be taken serious in this very non-serious country that we live in, which is kind kind of funny. Um, during during uh, COVID, um, the Canadian military was like, "Hey, you know what? This is actually a really great opportunity to um, do propaganda." on our population to uh, see how it works. And Trudeau, who's a cunt, a massive fucking failure, a disgrace as a human being, an absolute piece of shit. And I hope the absolute worst things happen to him. His marriage falling apart is only the tip of the fucking iceberg of all the bad shit I want to happen to him. Like, I'm talking about, like, degenerate fucking stuff. Like, he's, like, walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night and he treads on a Lego that's hiding in the carpet. Like, I'm talking, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. The worst imaginable stuff. Ever tread on a Lego that's hiding in the carpet? I'd rather step on a landmine. Oh my God. Anyways. <laughs> uh, anyways, in the pandemic, um, the, uh, the army was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do like a propaganda campaign. We're gonna do psyops on the Canadian public. And that's what they did. They actually ran a really heavy, significant PSYOP campaign on, on the Canadian public to uh, test out their fucking 
strategy and 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 their programs and whether or not it works and basically do science. Pieces of shit. Every fucking last one of them. Pieces of shit. And so this whole rebranding effort aimed at establishing and maintaining credibility. They can suck my dick. But the state of Canadian Armed Forces combat readiness is growing worse. Nobody, nobody wants to be a part of the Canadian Armed Forces and um, they, they can't get people. And the equipment that they do have is garbage. It's shit. Department of National Defense report also says almost half of military's equipment is unserviceable. Almost half of military's equipment is unserviceable. Military sounds alarm over recruiting problems as Canadians steer clear. So the Canadian Armed Forces is sounding the alarm over a severe shortage of recruits to fill thousands of vacant positions with a shortfall so bad that senior officers are now calling it a crisis. We have people that don't want to be soldiers. We have um, a lack of soldiers. Half of our equipment doesn't work. We have no ammunition. We have a government that doesn't pay them enough or feed them or give them housing. That's a whole different crisis. Uh, we, have, we have this. Um, we have Lieutenant General Jenny Carnegie. She's the new leader of the military. And this was said about her. The new boss of the Canadian Armed Forces, appointed by Trudeau, is a woke apparatchik who brought DEI rules and diversity, um, diversity hiring quotas, turned the CAF into an organization promoting gender identity nonsense, and introduced an inclusive dress code so ridiculous it just had to be remade uh, more restrictive again. Now she'll have full power to make sure we have an army of sissies and minority hires with outdated equipment who couldn't ever repel an invasion from Iceland. Cargan has served for the past three years as chief professional conduct and culture of, of na in the national defense, leading efforts to transform the culture of the Canadian Armed Forces. I mean, that, that sounds pretty bad. This, this is the woman leading the... The thing, but it's not just that. If you go on, if you go on, um, on on Reddit here into the Canadian Forces subreddit, a lot of this has sort of been deleted. But we have we have this comment here. Like I said before, I'm ex I'm excited to ask the ma'am to explain her actions in early January 2020 in a town hall. I'm eager to hear why she valued her carpets higher than the lives of her troops and why she decided to try, until the Americans stopped her, to evac first. Any CBT armed soldier who was part of NMI in 2020 will have nothing but awful things to say about her. She is truly an awful choice for CDS, especially with our current state of affairs. Godspeed dudes, we're going to need it. So these are all soldiers writing this. And it's basically, from what I understand, it, she was the uh, she, she was leading a uh, a NATO training exercise in Iraq and um, in 2020, and uh, that's when like Soleimani or whoever was killed or something like that, and then uh, things got crazy and there was mortar fires or whatever, and then uh, this this Jenny Carnegie she panicked. Or whatever, and she was like, "Oh no!" And then she took her prized possessions. I guess that they were carpets, fancy Middle Eastern carpets or something. And then so she 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 grabs her personal effects, abandoning her troops on the field, gets into um, an American uh, helicopter. I guess a, a U.S. general had to pull her out, and it was like, "No, this this helicopter is not for you. There's not a lot of room. What the fuck are you doing with carpets?" So apparently that's the story. The Canadian government has come out and said, no, that's not entirely the way it happened. So it's entirely probably the way that it happened. But anyways, that's that is who is leading the uh, the Canadian Canadian military. But anyways, the point of this story is Canada's new military logo sparks fury over very suggestive design of a bear fucking a moose. That's that's where we're at here. Canada is a silly place. It's not a serious country. And I recommend you don't ever come here. 
because it's bad. Our money is made out of plastic that if it's too cold, it will break. If it's too hot, it will melt. I mean, you can wash it, though, but don't put it in the dryer. Don't leave it on your dash. Anyways, um, that, that, that's it for this video. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.